is recorded, and with it being recorded, a lot of people can't hear everybody's voices uh, after that. So please just stay in accordance with everything that's going on today. This is our first town hall meeting. It'll, we'll have many more to follow after this, depending upon how well it goes today. So I guess I'm going to have to speak much louder as well. Uh, the way that the, the whole functionality of this is going to work out is that eboard will take about five, ten minutes to speak and talk about some of the things that we have. Then it will be open to everybody else here, club organizations and members of the student body to come about and um, to bring up any issues, any problems that you may have, any concerns, anything that you want to see done here so we can go forward and work together on um, making the, cho the changes and making all of your all of your wants and needs seen throughout our campus. This is really what it's all about. When we all got elected, we said that we wanted to have a more transparent and transformational school in student body government. Uh, we, I can say as president, are doing that. And I'm not just trying to toot my own horn because you know, we're up here and we're hosting it, but it's because we have open meetings now. We have recorded meetings now. We have more senators now. We have a more open, um, advocacy with clubs and organizations and what we're going to do is continue to build on that uh, to unite all of us together instead of dividing us together and really what it comes down to is that each and every club and organization cannot be responsible for themselves but instead we have to be responsible for each other so with all of you here today we're going to learn about how we can do that together more effectively uh, in a more uh, proactive way and with that said we'll go on and i'll start with the first the next in line the vice president's absent today. Uh, he's away doing duties, and we'll start. And our tre parliamentarian's absent today, so you only have the vice pre president, secretary, and treasurer. I may have a different treasurer and secretary, and then our advisor. I'm sorry about that. To mix you all up. Uh, so we'll go on and start with our secretary, Jeremy Walsh, and then pass it back over, and from there on, continue on. But welcome everybody to our first annual uh, town hall meeting. So give yourselves a round of applause for that. secretary here uh, in the Student Senate. Um, one of the duties of the Secretary of the Student Senate is the PR campaign of the Student Senate. Um, as the person basically running that, camp, that committee, we're looking at different ways of increasing the visibility of the Student Senate and anything that basically helps add credit to the Student Senate as well as to the other clubs and organizations here on the campus. Um, we have a couple of projects that we're looking at right now and hashing out all the details to figure out where we need to go with all of these. And uh, we're also here as part of the PR campaign to help promote other events that other clubs may have going on as well. So other clubs that need something that needs an announcement being taken care of, needs something addressed, come and talk to us, we'll get it all taken care of. Um, also, I'm also serving on the Green Committee as well as the Rules of Conduct Committee, and we have projects underway in both of those as well. Um, as long as we get people buying in on some of these ideas, we start getting some of the ideas out there and exposed, we can do that as well. So anybody else who possibly has any other ideas as far as how the school can improve some of the green image, the image of going green, uh, some of the other concepts that all that entails, definitely suggest that we're open to any suggestions and trying to hash out anything that could work and <coughs> has any questions anything now, I can field them now. I can pass on. Alright, we'll pass on to the mayor and treasurer. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for giving me the opportunity of being your new treasurer this year. I'm really excited for the position. Uh, the budget committee has meetings every Tuesday at 1 p.m. in Com 102 and we work together to evaluate each and every request individually and we make it as fair as possible. Uh, the goal in the budget committee is to, it's not to hog the money away from the students, but it's to give money so that they can uh, create events and go on trips that benefit themselves, which in turn benefits Johnson County Community College and then benefits the community as a whole. We have taken care of three requests so far and we have many, many more requests to take care of in the new fu near future. In conclusion, I really look forward to working with all of you and it's going to be an exciting and challenging new year. 
issues, programs, ideas, anything that you guys think will help make things better. Um, I also just encourage you, anytime you have anything, it doesn't have to be in a town hall meeting, please feel free to speak to any of us, including myself. My door is always open unless I'm in a meeting, so, or if I'm not here, like, <coughs> after hours. <laughs> but please feel free to stop by. We'd love to hear you. With that said, as you can see, we're really fast at work. We're, again, happy to have you all here. And so we're ready just to kind of start this forum open. If any clubs and organizations have any um, uh, any concerns or if you want to start the conversation, please let us know now. Uh, we ask that you state your name, your position with the club and organization, the club and organization that you're with, and then we'll go on to detail about uh, what exactly we're here to talk about. So anybody want to open that up? CJ? All right, I wasn't expecting to do this. Uh, my name is CJ Edwards. I'm president of Johnson County Community College's Queers and Allies. And right now we have an exciting new initiative going on that we literally kicked off yesterday afternoon. Um, I don't know, raise your hand. Um, we have bracelets on right now that say break bullying. There we go, we've got a few in the room. And I don't bully. I don't know if you guys have heard, um, on a somber note, there have been six gay teens in the past two weeks who have committed suicide due to bullying on their campuses, being junior high, and high school, or college level. Um, three of the kids were 13 years old. And to me, that is shocking, just so not cool. Um, what we're doing on campus is we're wearing the bracelets, we're supporting an anti-bullying campaign, and we want as many people as possible to buy these bracelets or at least wear purple on the 20th um, to show that we know what's going on and we will not tolerate bullying on our campus. Not just with the LGBT community. <laughs> And with that, the bracelets are 50 cents. The funds do go to our club. Um, and what we're gonna do with those funds is probably try and get on a couple of different um, national committees so that we can you know, talk about what we're doing, get better ideas from different clubs and organizations um, nationwide. So please try and support us as much as you can. We're selling these right now at 15. I didn't know the meeting would be this big. Um, and we also are selling them today in the Commons until 1.40 before our meeting. And then we're also selling them Monday and Tuesday from 11 to 1.40. As she said, uh, as he said, the, the issue of bullying is a huge, huge national outcry, and there's some student body presidents all across the country who are for starting um, safe havens at their campus and starting initiatives that can help uh, save lives. And there are other presidents who don't want to do that. And what I don't understand is how some presidents don't want to. Uh, to ensure the safety and the security and the viability of a life in their student body, the same people who elect them to these positions. So I really want to commend you and Queers and Allies. I want you to know that you have an ally, I think, in all of us on the Student Senate. If there's anything else that we can do for you, please just let us know because we're right there for you and I expect to get a bracelet today <laughs> before I leave. So if there, with that said, is there anything else from anybody else? Yes, Jeremy. I see that. I just got a quick question. Um, as far as reporting procedures for bullying, do you guys have any of that in place to help educate people as to who they're supposed to talk to in the event that they encounter one of those situations? Um, we do. Sorry, I can talk more. Yeah. <laughs> <Get loud. laughs> um, we do actually. I would um, encourage anybody who has experienced bullying on campus, the first thing you need to do is go to campus security. Absolutely. Pick up one of those red phones, use your cell phone, and call the regular campus number. Hit zero and you'll talk to an operator. Um, go up to the CSI, do whatever you need to do. Um, there are the blue phones out in the um, parking areas and stuff like that as well. First thing you need to do is report the bullying incident. After that, go to the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion on campus. That's where we're putting our statistics right now. We do need to have them with the Overland Park Police Department, which is through Johnson County Security. Um, and we have some statistics going on right now. One of our members has experienced um, two cases of bullying in the past less than seven days, like five days maybe. Um, and one of our members has actually tried to commit suicide <coughs> recently because of the bullying he has experienced. 
not only on this campus, but in his everyday life, um, which is another big reason that we're doing all of this right now. What is something, something else that you'd see us do in order to try to raise awareness on our end with Student Senate? Honestly, I think you guys are doing a great job so far. I do come and talk to you anytime I need to. I've been talking to Mindy as well. Um, anytime we have a problem, you guys are right there for us. But the bigger and louder we can be about the anti-bullying campaign, the more effective it's going to be. I want to see everybody, like my dream would be to see everybody on this campus on the 20th wearing purple and having the entire community and the nation asking why we're doing it so that we can tell them what's going on. Well, we can help make that dream happen for you. Awesome, thank we're you. We're there with you. Marvita has a quick question. Um, Marvita has a, a low voice, so. That's okay. <laughs> um, I wanted to let you know there was a, I, we did, there was a local author by the name of Sue Ellen Free and Blanche Softland. They wrote a book about banishing bullying behavior. Mm -hmm. And it offers a lot of um, input and information to all who, all the people who are involved from the target of the bullying to the people who are sitting by and watching to the teachers, you know, to friends, to parents. And because it's really a, a very personal and a very emotional and kind of sticky situation, you know, how do you address, you know, telling somebody they need to stop their behavior. But they were able to do it on all different levels with middle school, um, high school and college, and then even into the corporate world. And so uh, we actually even have a conversation with them. That might be something if you have a website or something, you we could do. you could post that on your website. And also, I could link you to them so that if they, you know you could get any other information you wanted to get. That would be absolutely awesome. We'll definitely do that. I'll talk to you after the meeting. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hi gang, I'm Alex Luchin, uh, founder, president, representative of the Animation Association. We do 3D graphic effects, um, animation, that kind of thing. Um, my question for the, I guess, the gang is, um, is there a master email list, do you know, or like a master list for uh, all of us? Because I know I sign on a weekly email, and then we have a Twitter and a Facebook page, and I wasn't aware if there's like a master list for all that stuff, because I wasn't aware there was, you know, this going on the 20th until today when he spoke. Okay. So like, if there's a kind of list for that. Yeah. In general, I'm actually in the process, it just takes a lot of time. <laughs> Maybe for brand new, it's, there's a lot of stuff I'm learning. I'm in the process of doing a newsletter, and I'm trying to make it, I'm hoping to make it weekly, but it would go out to all of the clubs and organizations, would talk about upcoming events, it would also give ideas for things like fundraising, um, and any other ideas that you guys would like to know about. Um, so I'm hoping to make that a goal of mine to get out within the next two weeks. And I would also say that with Queers and Allies, personally, we do have, um, I promise I'm not going to For viewers we, at home. Okay. Um, we do have a post Facebook page, so just um, put Johnson County Community Call, JCCC, Queers and Allies, um, on the Facebook page. And then we also have a Google Groups, so go to groups under Google and put in JCCC Queers and Allies. You can find us there as well. So all of these initiatives have been up on those. Um, lately, if you can't come to our meetings or you don't see me every single day in the hallways, <laughs> um, it's a good way to get hold of us, please. So here we have a great conversation already started. Um, we have what we're going to do to help out with bullying cases with queers and allies, as well as that uh, with innovation. Uh, OVC is here, and I know that you all are a very, very intricate part here of our our student body and you all play a huge role with us. Um, is there anything that we can do, or is there anything that you'd like to bring up and talk to us about? <laughs> well, I thought since you're sitting there eating cake, I thought I'd just bring it all up, all at once, so. I didn't call you out by name, so you love it, Corey. Who are you? Cameron Gordon, <laughs> president of OVC. I don't think this thing's working. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Speaking. <laughs> <laughs> right uh, I guess uh, I kind of came as kind of like not just president of OVC, but just as a student in general. Uh, I was on Senate last year, and I remember you know I've seen a lot of things that we talked about last year taking place, like for instance this brown bag lunch here. Uh, one of the things 
things that this kind of this is coming from a student perspective. I guess I would like to see more like things like this where I think we have more uh, more events that are catered towards student groups where we can all do events and activities like this together. Because doing things like this, like for example, if I wasn't here, I wouldn't have known about that initiative and other things. I think it helps it helps attract more students to student groups when they see you know, people from different groups are together, they see, you know, I didn't even know there was a 3D graphic club on campus. So, you know, I think, think doing more things like this, I know I kind of talked about it a little bit last year, and kind of, I know you mentioned something like that, like Big Brother kind of thing, but um, just seeing more activities on campus where more, more groups, like probably like a monthly thing or something where we have like a special day where we can either go somewhere do an activity or community service event or we can do something here on campus just where all the groups together get together you know partake in an activity together I think it'll help so building this question out to everybody everybody kind of likes the format of how we're doing this and you think that it's proactive and it, it's it's effective in getting the word out so with that said I'm going to challenge all of you to go out for the next month uh, and I'm going to challenge you to bring more people in because if you imagine our first meeting and we have, it's on a Wednesday, the day before we leave for fall break. We have more people walking in now. The day before we leave for fall break. On top of that, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and we have free cake, and we have, I think, almost 30 people here for the first time. That is a huge, huge, huge deal here on campus for any of you who have been involved directly with uh, organizations uh, for a long time here on campus. And I, I just want to say again, and I want to congratulate all of you again, on being here and taking up and doing all that you can do to continue to make the school a better place. So I thank you, but Cameron, most of all, I thank you for your service to our school and I thank you for everything that OBC does. Uh, it really is a great uh, Lauren Polly, who's also part of Organization Black Allegiance, has something to talk about with Don't Believe the Hype, I believe. I called you out my name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lauren Holly, I'm parliamentarian of OBC, and I'm also part of Intentional Connection through the Diversity of Equity Inclusion Office. And on the 22nd of October, there will be a forum, 27, excuse me, um, Don't Believe the Hype, panel discussion with students and different community leaders. Also, the students will be on the panel talking about different topics, I guess you could say, that Topics like what? Um, things that pertain to students, to us. Give us any examples. Um, sexting, um, good body image, just, Gloria, maybe that's sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, you'll kill me. Where will it be located? Good question. <laughs> auditorium. The auditorium. Craig Auditorium. Thank you. You're welcome. That was great. I'm so happy that you're here. Gaita. <laughs> Gaita is also uh, president of the Ethiopian Club here on campus, in case any of you did not know that we had that club. Uh, you want to explain some of the things that your club stands for and what you do and, and how is it an intricate part to our student body? Um, last, um, last year as a club was the first year that we started. Um, what we had done was uh, start an orphanage in Ethiopia and we raised uh, $500 to send to Ethiopia last year. Um, this year we want to work more with the orphanage and see the progress. Student Senate did help us last year, so I want to thank them for that. Because um, we did do uh, a dinner uh, to help with the orphanage and did a lot of bake sales and stuff, organ sessions. Um, that's really our, that's like our main focus is with the orphanage for this year. Um, other than that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. If there's anything else for the table, 
I'm not sure. I don't want to call anybody out and get on a hit list real soon. <laughs> the dancing team? Dance team. Golden Girls, who did not let me on their team a long time ago, because obviously my legs aren't good enough for the uniform. Karen. 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 Okay. Anybody know the numbers that we have here at the school? <laughs> four. Four, four diversity of, of all races. Did you know that we have 6% Hispanics? Uh, it's about 5% African Americans, about 3% Asian Americans, maybe uh, probably higher for, for Asian Americans, and then Native American falls under that. But if you think about this as well, all of our students do not come from Joss County, the, from the Joss County area. We have them coming all the way from Eudora, from Kansas City, Missouri, from Kansas City, Kansas, from Edwardsville, from Wichita, uh, not Wichita, Lawrence. They come from um, uh, from Leavenworth. They're coming from all over. And then we have another 8% that comes from out of state. Our numbers are great because we're because of our diversity that we have at the school. What I don't think that we do enough as clubs and organizations here on campus is that we celebrate our diversity enough. We have all these clubs and organizations that want to celebrate diversity and that want to encourage it, but you don't know how to do it. Our thing that we have to do is to get together, and this is what I'm, I'm asking, I guess this is what I'm asking from all of you now, is how do we get together and how do we go out, all of us working together, to get other people to come in to the fold? How do we continue to build bridges and mend fences and continue to place the bricks on the foundation that will build a house that will be strong enough to fit all the students, of the entire student body for Johnson County Community College. How do we get people involved? CJ. All right, first thing I have to ask, do you have any other metaphors? Because that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> There's some that aren't appropriate. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, personally, I really like Cameron's um, talk about getting the group together, doing something once a month. Um, because even just bringing myself and one of my friends here today, we're going to be able to meet a lot of other group members that I don't already know because I know most of you. <laughs> and I think that just in the two and a half years I've been with Queers and Allies, we started out, my first meeting had seven people 
including our two co-advisors. So there are five students there, I was one of them. Um, this year, our numbers are 28 at the very least. Um, in our, I mean, that's our average at the meetings. And you know, sometimes students just don't come to school because it's too sunny outside. Um, on those days, we have more than 15. We haven't had less than 15 people in a meeting yet this semester. Um, so I'd like to extend to all the clubs here. If you guys are trying to work on your numbers and trying to get more people, let me know about it. Let our club know about it because we're obviously doing something right. Um, not to you know brag, but um, maybe I am bragging. Um, we're getting a lot more people in on what we're doing, and some of that is as simple as having tables out in the commons area, which we're doing today. Um, we obviously have drag shows. Um, what else do we do? Panels. We do speak out panels, which are absolutely awesome, and we definitely raise awareness that way. And I don't think that the um, LGBT and ally community is the only one that should be able to have speak out panels. Um, they're a great idea. I don't know if you guys know what they are. Um, but we basically go into classrooms and open up our lives as our individual selves and talk about the diversity and what we encounter every single day. And I think that OBC has a corner on that. They should be able to do it. Luna definitely has a corner on that, should be able to do it. Um, and you'd be surprised how many people open up and ask questions and really want to learn more about your group when you do things like that. Thank you. I'll get a medical report for you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let the Secretary talk about some ways in which we're getting more people involved with Student Senate. And then we'll come back over to this table with international clubs or Student Senate members. And we still have a lot more time, so we're doing great. Jim? Right, thank you. So one of the things that we have now as part of the Student Senate is they actually have a Facebook page. Oh, you have that up? I can put that up. All right. They actually have a Facebook page that people can like. Can they like this or they can be friends of they it? They can like both? it. They can do both. You can like it or be friends of it and then stay on on some of this thing. It's okay. Um, also, <laughs> Assembly meetings are also filmed and put on the school's YouTube channel. You go on YouTube, type in JCCC, and look for the Student Senate General Assembly meetings. You can see the General Assembly meetings videotaped up there too. So that's another way to stay informed as far as what's going on with the Senate and as far as other clubs. Um, also through the Facebook page that we have as well that can also stay in the loop is what's going on. Well, we have a Facebook page. We just have technical difficulties and can't find it. That's all right. If you think really hard, you can see it. Just think really hard. It's just, just a man. Someone has a computer screen up here if you yeah. want to come look at it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody come on up and make a line and, and start looking for it. But I know that Queers and Allies has a Facebook page. OBC has a Facebook page. International Club has a Facebook page. Luna has a Facebook page. And I think we're all interconnected together with that Facebook page. So here's another challenge I'm gonna give to everybody. Everybody ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Can't hear you. Everybody ready for this? Yeah. One more time. Can't hear you, Cavaliers. Everybody ready for this? Yeah. It's more like it. Go Cavaliers. And that's definitely more like it. Um, I challenge all of you to connect with each and every one of the Facebook pages here in the. I don't know. Swing the swing dance have a Facebook page. We're working on it. We're trying to help. Well, see that that's good. They're damn. They're swinging their way into it. So. Uh, I challenge everybody to connect with each and every Facebook page here on campus, and with that, suggest all your Facebook page friends to like our Facebook page, and we'll return the favor for you. It's kind of like MySpace from back in the day. If you leave a picture comment, I'll leave one for you, you know, PCPC. PC. So I think that would be great. Uh, we'll turn it back over now to International Club. Barbara. Oh, Teresa. I'd rather let the students speak. Oh, that's great. I have a question real quick. That YouTube, you said on YouTube General Assembly? Is that what it's called? Senate General yes. Assembly? Right, Student Senate General, General Assembly. Okay. It's actually Student Senate meeting, then the date right after. That's Andrew, our, our cameraman. <laughs> Nobody ever gives Andrew any recognition. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs>
basically we support international students and we help them, you know, get around. You know, it's unfamiliar territory for us to be here in this country. But at the same time, we open it up because I always have students asking me, "Is it just for international students?" But you know, I told, I, we will always tell them it's for everyone because I know that there's a lot of American students who want to get to know international students here. So yeah, you know, we have this whole just people getting.
Look at that. <coughs> oh, my name is Eric. I'm the Secretary of the International Club. Hi, Eric. Uh, Hi, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, let's just say uh, the International Club is not all about international people only or students. It's um, a club really that has, a, it's a group of diverse students who have uh, Americans, uh, people from Germany, uh, all over. You mentioned we have them. Um, but uh, we do fundraising as uh, Earth say. But um, one thing that I would like to say is that it's very hard when you're a student, a new student, to get to know all these groups. Um, I didn't know about International Club or any other group until somebody just dragged me into a meeting like, hey, let's go in this meeting. But um, it's a challenge uh, and I would like to ask maybe Mindy or I'm a senator also, so it's up on me too. But we, I think we can create a list and when a student is joining in or signing up for classes, then we can say, okay, you have these clubs or organizations that you can join to because really uh, Johnson County Community College is all, is all about coming in, getting education and getting out. People are busy, it's like a highway, that's it. But there is much more to it rather than just getting education. I mean, you gain a lot of things, know too many people and have fun by having these groups. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca Godkey. I'm a, I guess. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> You're Alex, right? Nice All right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm a student senate, and I'm actually in charge of our upcoming event, which, um, like you said, Cameron, you know, it's like a community service kind of event. And I did send out a big email to a whole bunch of people. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to invite basically the whole student body and like faculty and staff and their children to the school and we're gonna give them a safe environment to trick or treat. And we're we hoping that, you know, clubs can set up booths and um, hand out candy and then have a fun activity like a craft or a game or something. And so if you guys wanna get involved in that, please let me know, um, it'd be really awesome. So I'm really excited and costumes are suggested. Okay, uh, another big thing I wanted to mention, I wanted to give kudos to the Service and Fundraising Committee of the Student Senate because they are doing a great job. Um, they really are focusing on projects that are going to that will benefit the inner city, that will benefit uh, not just Johnson County as a whole, but the entire city, entire state as a whole. And so I think that's great. I think that's obviously a very admirable uh, suggestion of them. I think it shows us how great public servants we have serving with us on the Student Senate. So I want to thank both of you, Teresia and Rebecca, who are both on the Student Senate. And Teresia is actually in charge of our November uh, project. So she had, they both have their hands full right now. So I want to thank you again about that. Um, swing dance, anything at all? It'd be great. Hi, um, I'm Ashley Wilson. I'm president of the Swing Dance Club. And we just recently got started up. We tried to get something going last semester. Didn't really work out with uh, flooring because <coughs> as a dance thing, uh, we need hardwood floors. So we've been lucky enough to get the Craig Community Auditorium to practice. And I've actually seen a few people come in and try to learn to dance. And mm -hmm. I've been trying to convince a few people <laughs> to come in. And uh, uh, we're just trying to get the word out that there's a lot more to swing dance as people think. Um, I'd like to say people think that it's more of like the 1920s music they've never heard before, big band stuff, and uh, I'd like to just let everybody know that you can turn on 96.5, no, 95.7, and like 93.3, and all today's popular music, and you can swing dance to that. And that's what we're trying to teach people and if you want to come in, I think we're having a meeting tomorrow. I'm trying to get my act together <laughs> and organize that. But um, also, 
I was wondering if maybe we could do something with uh, International Club or like I know Luna um, with something along the lines of salsa because uh, my dance partner and I were a bit diverse. We don't just do uh, swing dance and we know foxtrot and salsa and merengue and bachata and we know a lot of the Latin dances and uh, if uh, you were interested in working together on something like that, we could uh, just try to get the word out for both of our clubs and uh, work on something like that. Yes. Um, well, I know at ECAD we're, we're going to be um, broadcasting and just playing music on campus on Wednesdays and Fridays at the Com building. And it seems to me that would be a good time for people to be out swing dancing or whatever else <laughs> they want to do. You know, so I'll, if you guys want to do something like that, we would be glad to, to hook up with you. And, you know, you could let us know what kind of music you want. And we could, um, during some part of the days, you know, dedicate that time towards what you guys are doing. That would be awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh, two right over here. Me first. <laughs> Ladies first. Ladies first. No, it's okay. You know. In Ethiopia, there's no such thing. <laughs> In Johnson County, there is. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. Uh, this is a serious question. So would you really be able to teach me how to salsa? I really would be able to teach you. He has two left feet. That's okay. You <laughs> <laughs> said that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I actually like that idea, and um, I'll be more than happy to help you out. And um, as and for everybody else, also, if you guys ever need help with do it with coordinating fundraisers or events or anything going on that that you need to start from the ground up, uh, I do have some experience under my belt. So if you guys do need help with that, I'm more than willing to help. Um, I will give you my contact information and I'll meet yours as well. And the other thing is, uh, and yeah, and I also have connections to, uh, like, there is a, the Kansas City Salsa, there's a Kansas City Salsa, like, uh, organization that goes on here. And, uh, like, Howard, by Howard. And anyways, I know him and I know DJ. <laughs> and yeah, I. I it had a phase of salsa dancing, but anyways, but there you go. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I think that's you guys should advertise for the Halloween party and go and do a Halloween salsa dance thing at the Halloween party that yeah. Student Activity Board is sponsored. That would be fun. The Halloween? I was thinking of uh, if you guys need more people to come to your club. I know in the international club, because I go to international meetings, there's a lot of people that actually dance really good. Every Friday. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. And then Luna has mostly Hispanic people. Yeah. And if, if, if we can just organize a, a, a party, kind of party fundraising night, where these different clubs come together and learn salsa or just dance, or just uh, we just bring people with experience like you or whatever. A night where other clubs teach yeah. other clubs about what yeah. they do best. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And you I know a lot of people you. like hey, men. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so but if, if we can make it as a fundraiser, like, and then divide the money among the, the different that's clubs, sure. Well, I think that's a great idea, Sam. I want to, I think we should, Senate, the new senators, have a thought, here's a thought, should start planning for that and get that ready. So, I'm going to leave that to you, and I know Mindy and I, and everyone on the e-board will be excited to hear about that. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to that in the next few weeks. Great. Barbara? I would just like to say, uh, I think the Student Activities Board has been doing I've been here a long time. I worked for seven years in another department and left the campus for a year, and now I've been back for four years in the international ed department. And I 
can honestly tell you that uh, the last four years since I've been back, I've really been amazed to see what the Student Activities Board has done in the way of increasing, I think, sounds to me, and I'm a, I'm a little fuddy-duddy though, but uh, I think they've done a lot of fun things. They've got a Halloween dance they've done the last <coughs> couple of years. They've got a Valentine dance that I know has been popular with some of our students. And, you know, they're really inexpensive. And for the example, for the Halloween dance, admission is $3. They're gonna have a costume competition. <coughs> if you need ideas, I've got a lot of great ones. I have a long time of experience with that costume competition. And also, uh, it's just a heck of a lot of fun. And it's way, you're all talking about getting together and having all your groups mixed together and, and increase uh, involvement here on campus. And really, Student Activities Board is doing a lot of activities. So I think it would be nice to see all of the clubs get behind them and support them because they're a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the things that they have going, if everybody participates in them, everybody knows the secret to a good party is to have it in a small room. So everybody has to crowd together. You have 10 people in a room this size, it's not gonna be a very happening party. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a smaller room or you wanna have a lot of people. So I think if every club and org could get behind the different student activities that are going on on campus, um, it could be really a, lead to a lot more uh, greater involvement on campus in general and just have a lot of fun. And I don't even work for them. And I, I give full credit, I have great credit to John Haynes and Jake Akers because they're doing a great job, even though they give us some hassle and every once in a while. Uh, anything, anybody else, really quick, because we're running short on our time. Okay, we'll go Philip, we'll come here, we'll go Mindy, we'll close, everybody grab cake. We're all set and up. So, Philip, I'm going to hand this over to you. Hi, um, my name is Philip Wolf. I work for the Campus Ledger. Um, I'm a reporter. Uh, we are kind of slow in the uptake on getting a website right now, um, but I know I wouldn't have known about this event had I not talked to CJA yesterday and Corey yesterday. Um, we are always looking for, like, trying to put together a calendar of events going on on campus. Um, I know we don't have any pipeline for you guys to really feed us information, but we are the um, one of the uh, main student medias on campus, I mean, along with uh, the radio. Uh, so I can, I'd like to give my email out to um, all the club, I guess, presidents today. Maybe you can just start. Secretary. Secretary? Okay. Yeah, I would love, I'd love to have your email address. We could, as far as running, running the public relations part of the aspect of the student senate, it would be great to have an avenue to get a lot of things out there. So you guys from the ECAB news station and the campus ledger, definitely I'd like to see you after this so I can get your contact info. Yeah, I mean, everyone's contact info would be, I mean, we're, we're always looking to fill up our pages. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, just letting you guys know that we're still there and I mean, we're, we're working on a lot of things, but I mean, yeah, I mean, we're a pretty, pretty big, large media, we'd like to be. Thanks, Bill. There we go. And me again. Um, my class has been looking into doing a podcast um, through iTunes. We're yeah. still kind of working on that idea. I know, revolutionary. Um, so I, I have done a little bit of research on iTunes proper. It is the, one of the world's largest media centers. And there is a JCC media page on that, but I'm not aware who runs that. Does anyone have an idea? Is I think Tracy, um, I can't remember her last name right now, but is over it on the third floor. In um, the library, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I can. But I can I can talk to you about that. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, we were thinking of maybe coordinating with you the you know the local radio station doing something for that and putting it on iTunes and right. hoping that maybe other student bodies interested in that and like that'd be great if we can have like maybe every student club or, or body have like maybe a 10 15 minute introduction as to their club and what they do and get that out there for other students because mm -hmm. I know at least myself I always have my ear up in my my I always have like a headphone in my ear so. Stepping into that, so thank you. I think about fundraising with that. Yeah. Just a thought. Mindy? As a fellow podcaster, I say that's a great idea. <laughs> um, I know I see a lot of you all on a daily basis up in Comp 309, but for those of you I don't see, I want to welcome you all up there. The Center for Student Involvement is the home for every club and organization on this campus. You guys are free to come up. Our office hours are Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
and then Friday from 8 to 5. We are really fun. Um, <laughs> we, we will sit around and we'll talk. I know that's how CJ and I have really gotten to know each other. Tracy and I have really gotten to know each other. We hang out and talk, and it's open to everyone. Uh, we have computers up there for you to use. We have supplies up there for you to use. If you have questions on how to do things, you know, with me being a month old, I may not know that answer right away, but we'll definitely find out the answer for you. But really, everyone, and then anyone who's watching this from home, I just encourage you all to come out because it's a great place to meet other clubs, to interact with everyone, and just, just help stay further involved in your campus. And then, as I mentioned earlier, I'm looking at, I'm looking at lots of ways that we can keep interconnected with all of the clubs and organizations. Right now, it's a little bit hectic and hairy, but I really, We'll take any ideas that you guys may have for how we can keep ourselves interconnected. I am looking at starting to do that newsletter I talked about earlier to send out by email. If you guys have things you want to include in there, please feel free to either stop by and let me know or send me an email. I'm in the system. Um, but really, th COM 309, come there at any time. You're welcome. Um, just real quickly, I would like to thank Mindy. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have gotten these. <laughs> got this idea. I pitched it to her. She said, give me an email. I sent her the email. And then, what, Monday. I did this Friday. Monday we had it. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys. And I want every organization on this campus to be as successful as possible. So if there's anything that I or my staff can do, please let us know and we would be glad to help you out. So I'm thinking of a second town hall. No? Yes? I think we accomplished a lot here today. I think we made a lot of inroads, a lot of change, and this is exactly what we all saw when we all ran for executive board and wanted to make a difference here at our school. It was not just to do the same status quo stuff that's done every year. It was to do something different, to shake this campus up, and to make a legacy last. I think I'm going to just give eBoard some props here because I think you all have changed the way that every eBoard after you will serve the student body, and I'm very proud to serve with you. I'm very proud to have you all here with me. And our parliamentarian just walked in. Amir's back there hiding, and he probably won't come up. He will. Uh, Amir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but again, remember the three things that we talked about. We'll see you at the next one. Bring more people to the next one so we can knock out this wall and have a bigger room. Also connect with, it. we'll get with that. I'll get you, we'll get you the dates, don't worry. Uh, also get the, Get on everybody's Facebook, suggest your friends to everyone else's Facebook, and get a Facebook. That is the most important thing that we can do right now. Uh, I, I say that enough. I know some people hate Facebook. I can't stand tweet, Twitter. Tweet us, I don't say Twitter. But, uh, but let's stay in the social media. Also take up COM 319, which is a great spot right now. Three, three. 319 is the study room. Oh, like I said, take up 319. Uh, <laughs> But uh, 309 as well, we're so happy to have you all here with us. Let's keep doing great things for the school. Let's keep making great changes for the school. And I can't wait to see you here next year, uh, next month as well. So go out, get more cake, have a great fall break. We're so excited to see you here and take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.